The Rockford Files, a classic TV series from 1974, has left an indelible mark on the world of crime drama. But beyond its iconic status, do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series or perhaps some lesser known facts that fascinate you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's dive into some captivating tidbits about this unforgettable show. Did you know that James Garner, the charismatic actor behind the character Jim Rockford, did many of his own stunts, adding a layer of authenticity to the series? It's a testament to his dedication to the role. Another interesting fact is that the show's theme music, composed by Mike Post, became so popular that it even made its way to the Billboard charts, highlighting the significance of music in creating the show's atmosphere. As we explore the intriguing world of the Rockford Files, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Your insights and anecdotes will undoubtedly add depth to our appreciation of this timeless classic. So, what's your Rockford Files story? Share it with us. The character of Rockford's father was named Joseph. He was named after co-writer Stephen J. Cannell's father, but rather than Joseph or Joe, he was most often called Rocky, a nickname derived from his last name, not his first. The name of Rockford was used after Cannell found the name listed in the Universal Studios employee directory. This interesting tidbit reveals a unique aspect of the show's history and the origins of some of its character names. It's a testament to how the creative process can draw inspiration from unexpected sources. The TV series The Rockford Files from 1974 is known for its intriguing elements. One of the interesting facts about the show is that it was spoofed in Mad Magazine as The Crockford Files. This highlights the series' popularity and influence as it became a subject of humor and parody. Another notable aspect of the show is that its main character, Jim Rockford, is portrayed as a very observant and astute investigator. However, he often fails to correctly remember a suspect's license plate, even moments after seeing it. This recurring gag adds a touch of humor to the series and showcases Rockford's human and relatable side. Additionally, in most episodes of The Rockford Files, Rockford gets involved with a co-star character or she is an old flame from his past. This aspect of the show adds depth to his character and creates various dramatic and comedic situations. It's worth noting that, in most cases, the women involved with Rockford are at least 15 years younger, emphasizing the charismatic and somewhat unconventional nature of the character. These elements contribute to the charm and unique appeal of the Rockford Files, making it a memorable show from the 1970s. It combines detective work with humor and intriguing relationships, keeping the viewers engaged throughout its run. The Rockford Files, a 1974 TV series, was a co-production of three companies, Roy Huggins Company, James Garner's Company, and Universal Television. During season four, a contract dispute led to Gretchen Corbett's departure. James Garner also sued Universal over syndication profits, resulting in a confidential settlement after years of litigation. Cherokee Productions, Garner's company, owned 37.5% of the series, with the distribution of the remaining 62.5% undisclosed. The character Joseph Rocky Rockford, portrayed in the series, was ranked 45th in TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Dads of All Time. An interesting fact about the show is that the lead character, Jim Rockford, didn't have a permit to carry a gun, but he kept one in his kitchen, either in a cookie jar or a coffee canister, with the latter helping to prevent rust due to coffee grounds moisture absorbing properties. These behind the scenes controversies and the character recognition make the Rockford Files a notable part of TV history. The Rockford Files, a 1974 TV series, earned a spot on many best series of all time lists due to its quality writing and acting. The show broke conventions by portraying Jim Rockford, a private investigator who wasn't glamorous or always financially successful. He didn't always get along with the police, often got arrested, didn't always win fights, and even hurt himself while punching someone. The character of Jim Rockford was originally from an unproduced script for ABC's Toma, and ABC and NBC had issues with the script's humor, leading to a refusal to remove the funny lines. This show is remembered for its unique approach to the private investigator genre. 
The Rockford Files, a TV series from 1974, is a classic in the detective genre that has left an indelible mark on the world of television. Created by Stephen J. Cannell and Roy Huggins, the show introduced audiences to the charismatic Jim Rockford, played brilliantly by James Garner. The character of Rockford, a private investigator with a penchant for solving cases while living in a mobile home, became an iconic figure in the world of crime-solving television. The success of The Rockford Files was not limited to its engaging storyline and well-drawn characters. One of the most notable aspects of the show is its unforgettable theme song, composed by the legendary Mike Post. This catchy tune is often associated with the show's opening credits, featuring Rockford's Pontiac Firebird Esprit. In 1975, the theme song achieved an incredible milestone by peaking at number 10 on Billboard's Hot 100 list. This ranking was a testament to the widespread popularity of the show, not just among TV viewers, but also in the music industry. The theme song's success on the Hot 100 chart was based on a combination of factors, including its radio airplay frequency and record sales. It was a testament to the enduring appeal of the Rockford Files and its ability to capture the hearts of a wide and diverse audience. The fact that the theme song became a hit in its own right speaks volumes about its catchy melody and memorable arrangement. To this day, when people hear that familiar tune, it instantly transports them back to the thrilling world of Jim Rockford and his adventures in the seedy underbelly of Los Angeles. The Rockford Files remains a beloved series that continues to captivate new generations of viewers. Its unique blend of humor, suspense, and clever detective work ensures that it will always hold a special place in the hearts of fans around the world. Stay tuned for more insights into this iconic series as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of Jim Rockford and his adventures. This is just the beginning of our journey into the classic TV series that has truly stood the test of time. Stay tuned for more as we explore the captivating world of the Rockford Files. Noah Beery Jr., who portrayed Jim Rockford's father Joseph Rocky Rockford, was 14 years older than James Garner. This age difference didn't stop them from convincingly playing father and son in the 1974 TV series The Rockford Files. Despite the noticeable age gap, their on-screen chemistry made their relationship feel authentic to viewers. Beery's portrayal of Rocky added heart and humor to the show, making him a beloved character alongside James Garner's Jim Rockford. The Rockford Files remains a classic detective series remembered for its unique characters and engaging stories. As we bid adieu to the world of the Rockford Files, we invite you to take a moment to delve into your own personal connection with this iconic 1974 TV series. Whether it's the unforgettable charm of James Garner's portrayal of the laid-back yet resourceful Jim Rockford, or the gripping mysteries that kept you on the edge of your seat, this show holds a unique place in the annals of television history. Now, close your eyes and let the nostalgia wash over you. Remember the thrill of each case, the clever banter, and the signature answering machine messages that made you smile. Think about the moments when Rockford's world collided with your own, as you watched him tackle cases that ranged from the mundane to the extraordinary. What lessons did you draw from his unwavering tenacity? How did the show's portrayal of the 70 Seconds era resonate with your own experiences or memories? Share your favorite moments, characters, or what you learned from this timeless classic. It's a chance to celebrate the power of storytelling and its impact on our lives. Thank you for taking the time to reminisce with us and reflect on your connection with the Rockford Files. Your memories and thoughts add depth to the legacy of this remarkable series. Keep those stories alive and keep the spirit of Rockford close to your heart. Until next time, be well and continue to enjoy the magic of this enduring classic.